Celebrity true or false? You can't handle the truth. All right, there it is. That's our production guy. That's about it. I love it. Okay, thank you. Know, you I, I got a little uh, trivia about that What's line. That? Okay. Well, my friend Kevin Pollack was there that day yes. when, when Nicholson did that scene. Yes. First take, just nailed it yeah. without blinking. Not even an blink. eye. When you see it again, he does not blink. Kevin actually and, told that story in oh. Celebrity True or False. No, and he talked about how he played some of the roles as well because, you know, Jack had a yeah, lead. Yeah, yeah, the, the, he yeah that's it. right, right, yeah, some of the uh, off-camera, yeah. It's the greatest. Yeah, I love but it. But I heard that from Kevin. You heard it from Kevin, and the audience has heard it twice. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> and the crazy thing is, is Kevin's lying about it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right, first up, Judge Reinhold, Celebrity True or False, Beverly Hills Cop was originally set to star Sylvester Stallone, and you had to meet with Sly for him to approve you uh, as Billy. True. Very true. Uh, the original script was an action vehicle for Sly, who was... By far the biggest star on the Paramount lot with the the Rocky movies and mm -hmm. um, I don't know what else he'd done by that point, but he was bringing in a lot of money for the studio and um, I I was cast as this young rookie who it's Axel Foley is uh, from Detroit and comes to L A to avenge the death of his friend meets a young rookie who guides him through Beverly Hills but it wasn't a comedy. It was it was an action vehicle for straight up Stallone, yeah. And I was thrilled to have the role. It was a big break for me. Marty had seen me in Fast Times, Marty Breast, and mm -hmm. and said, "I want to use you one day." And 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 it and he he cast me first. I was cast before Eddie. So where did you meet with Sly? Ah, oh, I got this, this this deep recess of the uh, the Paramount lot. Um, I, I got. <laughs> terribly lost and turned around. I was walking around and then finally this this enclave of 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 maybe four bungalows that hadn't changed since the thirties. The <laughs> air was rarefied. The the lawn was was they were I, I mean, they had bikes in, in the uh the racks in front of them. It, you just expected Catherine Hepburn to just fly out, you mm -hmm. know. They had it was so they were reserved. This was this was a, a secret sanctuary of power, you know? And so I knocked on the door and said, yeah, <laughs> come on in. And uh, yeah, he approved me. So that was it. That was it. Yeah. We know what. No, we talked a little bit. Okay. He was very nice. Very and then you cordial. get a call one day and say, Sly's out, Eddie's in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, he uh, Sly took it on him. He's a very good writer. He took it on himself to do another draft of Beverly Hills Cop, and included a a pretty very very expensive uh, car chase and <clears throat> car crashes down Rodeo Drive. And they didn't know it was Beverly Hills Cop. They didn't want to spend that much money on the movie. So uh, rather than say no, Jeffrey Katzenberg, very brilliant executive, very shrewd, said. Um, Hey, Sly, I know you like this Beverly Hills cop, but uh, this Cobra, man, this Cobra, man, you got to read this script. I said, yeah, okay, I'll do Cobra. And so then I'm left without a movie. And I wish I knew, I wish I could tell you whose idea it was. I feel like it was Marty's because Marty is edgy enough to think, okay, you know, let's put especially a black guy in Beverly Hills at that time it right. is, it makes it even mm -hmm. more of a fish out of water. And, and it was, so it was just an edgy idea, you know, I think I've heard that, um, Marty saw 48 hours and saw that scene where Eddie walks into the redneck bar and says, there's a new sheriff in town and says, that's Axel. So suddenly I'm in a, uh, Eddie Murphy movie, yeah. That makes complete sense and yeah. is mind-blowing at the same time. Yeah. 